Public interactions between citizens and law enforcement take a wide variety of forms. But if police lack grounds to make an arrest, under what circumstances may they stop and question a suspect without consent? The Supreme Court considered this question in Cibron v. New York. Brooklyn police officer Anthony Martinez stopped Nelson Cibron after observing Cibron engaging in conversations with several known drug addicts during an eight-hour patrol. Martinez questioned Cibron and stated, quote, You know what I'm after, unquote. As Cibron reached inside his coat, Martinez pushed his hand into Cibron's pocket, extracting several envelopes filled with heroin. Cibron was arrested and charged with drug trafficking. At trial, Cibron moved to suppress the heroin, arguing that it was obtained during an illegal stop and frisk. The trial court denied the motion, and Cibron was convicted. After the state appellate courts affirmed his conviction, Cibron appealed to the Supreme Court. In a separate case, Officer Samuel Lasky observed two strange men in an apartment building's hallway. Suspecting the men were attempting a burglary, Lasky pursued and apprehended one of the men, John Peters. Lasky frisked Peters for weapons and felt what he believed was a knife in Peters's pocket. Lasky removed the object and discovered a set of burglar's tools. Peters was charged and convicted for possession of burglary tools with intent to utilize them in the commission of a crime. The state appellate courts affirmed Peters' conviction, and he appealed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court joined the two cases and granted cert to consider their Fourth Amendment implication.